Hi there. Now, if you watched my previous video, you'll know that I showed you the formula for working out the shortest distance between two lines. And what I want to do in this video is run through a numerical example. So you might in fact want to give this a go if you know the formula. So what we've got here is two lines L1, L2 with their respective equations. And to find the shortest distance, I showed you that that formula was this one here, okay, where we're given our two lines L1, L2. So the first thing that we need to do, say, is to work out the vector cross product between the two direction vectors for our lines B1, B2. So taking B1 to be i minus j plus 2k and B2 to be 3i plus j plus 3k, then what we get is this. B1 crossed with B2 is equal to the determinants then of those two vectors B1 and B2. And working this out in the usual way gives us this result here, minus 5i plus 3j plus 4k. We need to work out the magnitude of this. This is the denominator here, the magnitude of the cross product between B1 and B2. So working out the magnitude of that vector gives us this, the square root of 50 or 5 root 2. So if we just section this part off, then the next part is to work out the difference between the vectors A1 and A2, our points on the line. So if we take A1 then as 2i minus 3j minus k and A2 as 3i plus j minus k, subtracting those two vectors gives us minus i minus 4j. What we need to do next is just work out the magnitude then of the dot product between A1 minus A2 and with B1 cross with B2. And what I'm going to do is take out the magnitude of B1 crossed with B2 out the front of this whole magnitude. So what we get is this, that the shortest distance is 1 over 5 root 2, okay, over here, and then it's the magnitude of the dot product between A1 minus A2, which is minus 1 minus 4, 0 there, dotted with B1 crossed with B2 over here, which is minus 5, 3, 4. And if we dot those two vectors together, we get 5 minus 12. We've got the magnitude of that, which is going to be just 7. So we end up with 7 over 5 root 2, or if we rationalize it, 7 root 2 over 10. So if you had a go at that, I hope you're able to get it right. If not, at least I hope you've been able to see how to do it. Okay?